a free market. For InfoWars.com, I'm David Knight. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny. It's time to realize that we're being enslaved. Some of these same vo voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. Tyranny with a capital T. You should reject these voices. Everything that's been done with torture, rendition, the NDAA, the Patriot Acts 1 and 2, from day one was focused on the American people, period. That's it. It's always been about erasing the Bill of Rights and Constitution and rolling out NSA spying publicly, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, rolling out torture, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, but it's really for the general public, rolling out total control and the end of any underground free market systems in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda, but really shutting down any type of free commerce. This is all about converting us from a free society to a tyranny with a capital T. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for prison. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Welcome back to the final segment of the InfoWars Nightly News. Joining me in studio now is Joe Biggs, and we're going to talk about this Kit Daniels article that came out today. School asked students for number of guns, political views held by family. What are your parents' political views, gun survey asks. Now, there's a lot of things wrong with this. So let's take it from the top, I guess, Joe. What, what, what was your first impression when you just heard about this? Well, story? I saw it Friday uh, yeah. before I headed out to go. Uh, this little event I had to go to this weekend and Michael Cargill and some of the Texas Lone Gun Rights guys uh, tagged me in this picture that they had gotten, someone had sent it in mm -hmm. from a school around Pflugerville. And I started reading it and I said, oh my God, there are so many questions in here that they're putting out here for students to- Invasive. To, very invasive. It, it, this is like a Stasi type thing What when I first saw it. Just, hey, we want, to we want you to turn in your parents, but we're gonna disguise it as a survey. It's a very dangerous survey. They call this the Hawk 2015 gun survey. And uh, some of the questions it asks, we'll take a look at. It'll say name and grade, you know, that's optional. Does your family own any guns? You check yes or no, you know, that's, yeah, there you go. What is their purpose, you know, for self-defense, hunting, other sports, uh, other, please describe. Other, yeah. But here's the one I think is the most dangerous question out of them all. 
and because these are for children, have you ever fired a gun? Now, we know in the past that CPS has actually came in and taken kids away from families who legally own guns before. That has happened, right. so we know that. So that's one of those dangerous questions in there. Now, and then it asks in what context, right? Yeah, in what context are you using it for hunting, shooting, other, please describe. You know, is your parents, you know, crack addicts who are taking selfies with Glocks or whatever they're doing or what, you know, whatever have you. But it's one of those things that I just find it to be very, very scary. It's pretty that, that disconcerting. I wonder who came up with this. I guess the hawk is their uh, their mascot up in Pflugerville. Pflugerville yeah. is just north of Austin. So this probably, you know, Michael Cargill is a local uh, gun gun store owner, uh, firearm instructor as activist. well. Activist. Activist. Oh, yeah, he's a, very, he's a big time activist. So it's not surprising that somebody, probably some student's parent got this and said, I'm forwarding this to Cargill. He'll know what to do with it. And, uh, and eventually it, it found its way onto Infowars.com. But here, I think here's another uh, red flag one. What do you associate with guns? Yeah, protection, danger, safety, law enforcement, hunting slash sports, freedom, fear, military, fun. Now, they're trying to target people who are going to be constitutionalist, things like that. They're going to like, all right, oh, you're a kid. You fired a gun. Oh, there's an other not for hunting or shooting um, hmm, freedom, fear, military, we need to call the ATF and the FBI now. And then, which do you support? What do you support? No yeah. limits on gun ownership. Some limits, moderate limits, uh, strict limits, and then total prohibition of guns. And then, uh, at the very bottom, I thought this was funny, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, 1 being strong liberal and 10 being strong conservative, uh, you know, basically, where do you fit in? And then they want to know your parents' political views. And what are your political views? As a child, I mean, when you were... What is this, a middle school, a high school? I mean, really, were you political at that age? No, not really. I, you know, I, I think I kind of went with the flow in high school. I didn't really. And I wasn't a big gun guy in high school either, so I would have probably answered danger, law enforcement, and military. That would, that's what I would have put. I was more of an archery guy, so, I mean, yeah. I shot a lot of bows, really only until the point where I joined the military. But, I mean, if I were a parent and this was sent home with my child, Especially me being the kind of guy that I am right now, yeah. and I started reading these questions, I'm telling you, I'm taking this to the range, I'm putting a nice three-round shot group in the middle of that and having my son or daughter take that back and be like, here, I answered that for you. Well, I noticed they don't have a spot for a libertarian. It's either you're conservative or liberal. There's no other difference. And I think a lot of the, you know, this is to say you're Republican or Democrat. That's the code words there. Well, it's funny. There's a lot of polls going around right now saying that uh, gun ownership, uh, has decreased based off a lot of these polls that are going around. No, it's not that they've decreased. People aren't stupid enough to actually answer this truthfully and turn it in because they know the consequences that could come around the corner with that. Mm -hmm. CPS coming at your door, the FBI, the ATF, that's ridiculous. This is, this is no one's business. What I do, if I legally own a firearm and I'm a law-abiding citizen, it doesn't matter what I want to use that gun for. If I want to go hunt, shoot, pop off around, whatever I want to do, if I have that, if I want to open carry on my own property at my home, that's my business. That's not the school's concern. And Joe, anytime I see surveys like this, it always reminds me of the 29 Palm survey that was done back in the 90s, the mid 90s, actually. I'm gonna, I want to point people to two articles here. The first one, SEAL veteran military leaders being asked if they will disarm Americans. That article talks about a little bit something different, but it does mention the 29 Palm survey. And here it is. Concerns over troops being given orders to fire on American citizens in the event of a mass gun confiscation first arose in May 1994 when hundreds of Marines at 29 Palms, California were given a survey as part of an academic project by New Navy Lieutenant Commander Ernest Guy Cunningham, who I met back in 2009, actually, uh, which asked Marines if they would fire upon U.S. citizens who refuse or resist uh, confiscation of firearms banned by the United States government. And uh, it was the, sub the survey... It shocked Marines by the tone of it, so they ended up turning it in and leaked it. And then here we go. Back in 2011, Chuck Baldwin actually wrote about this as well. No wonder America's founders distrusted standing armies. And it's a little bit towards the end of it. He talks about it. One of the questions asked Marines that they'd be willing to be assigned to a national emergency police force within the United States. So you've got about 85% saying they would be willing to be assigned to that. You look at the uh, numbers here, 6% disagree, 6.3%. Uh, strongly disagree. Then you got 42% agreed, 43% strongly agreed, 2.3% had no opinion. But then here's the big question. I would fire upon U.S. citizens who refuse or resist confiscation of firearms banned by the U.S. government. The result, 42% strongly disagreed, 19% disagreed, 18% agreed, 
7 6% strongly disagreed uh, and 12% had no opinion. This goes if you add up all the ones who have no opinion or that agreed or strongly agreed, you got 49% who said they would fire on American citizens back in 1994. Now, obviously, I'm not saying the 29 Palm survey is like this, but anytime these gun surveys come out, you really learn telling information. Now, Ernest Cunningham, he was putting it out because he wanted to let people know that, hey, this is something that people should be worried about. He was a real freedom guy even back in the 90s talking about this. But here we have something that, yeah, could potentially be used to go against high school students. I mean, the how students can they and their be, families. I mean, yeah. you got to look at the students. They're going to be treated differently if you said you fired. Now, it says here, you know, have you ever fired a gun? And if so, how did, you know, what consists of that? Like I said, if I'm a father and I have a son, if I decide that he's ready, whatever age it may be, that's my choice. If I feel like my son's intellectually smart enough to kind of like handle this, he's matured quick and can handle that, that's on me if I want to teach him how to shoot guns mm -hmm. and to, to, to learn how to fear them and properly use them in a right way. That's how you stop a lot of the gun violence that happens by introducing these things in at a young age and properly training the children so they have that fear and respect for the weapon. So it's good if someone does that, but that's not how they're going to see it. They're going to use that to attack the student and the parent. Or maybe check up on them a little bit more, maybe assign them to a counselor. Oh, it says here in this survey, you, you like guns. Now, this was a small, it was only given to about 100 students, but that's how they roll these things out. Or, they do a small journalism class who will probably write an article on this. Who knows what the tone's going to be? It'll be very interesting to see if they get some real responses back from parents or if people just ignore or them little together. Timmy goes through a sin of depression and then they go, oh, well, he said he liked to shoot guns. We've shot yeah. him before. We've well, got him in our red list. We need, to, we need to call CPS on this one now. There could be a chance of suicide or maybe something else. So Yeah, this is something they could definitely roll out yeah. school-wide. You could see other schools doing this. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, before we get done here with the show, we've got a video. Clinton claims email charges are another conspiracy theory. Chuck Todd asked her uh, about... Uh, between uh, emails between her and CIA Director General David Petraeus. And she said, during the 90s, I've had the same, restricted to the same kind of barrage when I ran for the Senate. I overlooked all that. And then she asked him if his next question was going to be another conspiracy theory. I don't think it's a conspiracy theory that people died in Benghazi. No, it's not. The H is silent in Benghazi. There you go. And Clint, he's talking about the H and the Clinton uh, logo. <laughs> And once again, she rears her ugly cackle. That's going to do it for tonight's show. If you are watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and also consider becoming a member of PrisonPlanet.tv. Joe, how many trips have you been on since you've joined us? I mean, countless. <laughs> Probably and 100 or so. All that is funded by PrisonPlanet.tv yep. memberships. Also, people who gave uh, to the money bomb, we, using, we are using some of those funds to keep sending reporters out on location to get the news that you're not getting anywhere else. And, you know, you would cross the border as ISIS to show that it could happen. A guy in an ISIS uniform with a flag. I mean, all that is done with your support at PrisonPlanet.tv. You also get access to Al all of Alex's documentaries, uh, the Nightly News Live, the Nightly News Rebroadcast, the Alex Jones Show Live, plus the rebroadcast. And all our special reports are up there. I mean, just tons of information available for you to download and save. And this is something that can't be censored like YouTube or Facebook. We've seen that happen in the past. PrisonPlanet.tv is your source for all the greatest information that comes out of the Infowars.com uh, Central Texas Command Center and, and parts beyond. I mean, we just sent the guys on a major Pope run. So and Next week we'll be in Florida doing guns, shooting that's guns. That's right. So. Join us back here once again, 7 p.m. Central, for the Infowars Nightly News. Thanks for watching. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep. Knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. Infowarslife.com. That's Infowarslife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the Infowars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at Infowarsnews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.